Hello. Um, welcome to Yoga with Dagny. Today, I thought we would do um, a sequence to help build our immune systems. Since, you know, collectively we're going through so much with this global pandemic. Um, and, and there's a need, there's a big need to support our immunity. So I thought we would work with that today. Um, it'd be nice to have a brick if you have one. Um, if you want something to sit on, a blanket or two can help if it's hard to sit up straight. Otherwise, we can just sit right here on the ground. Um, let's begin in an easy pose. So often to get in my easy pose, I'll put my legs out first and then I'll bend one leg and place that ankle beneath the opposite knee and do the same with the other. Um, I also think about kind of crossing my shins right in the midpoint and then spreading them down. And then find a way to feel even from side to side on your sitting bones. Reach your feet beneath your knees the best you can. And find a nice, long, straight spine as long as you can. And then uh, let's just connect to our heart centers for a moment. And just allow ourselves to land here together. Um, preparing to practice, preparing to strengthen our immune system, and really thinking about strengthening our immune system for the sake of the whole. Um, even seeing it as, um, as we're building our immune system, we're helping anyone suffering or struggling with immune issues or sickness, um, just, opening that context that as we're working to heal our own bodies, we're helping, helping the world heal. We're helping each other heal. We're um, sending out support. When we're breathing in, we're taking in support from the beautiful strength um, and resiliency of Mother Earth. And as we're breathing out, we're sending out what we're cultivating into the world to help support each other. So maybe we can just take a moment and, and just find our breath and, and set that context that we're strengthening ourselves, we're helping to strengthen the planet and we're helping to strengthen each other in this time of need for strength. And just bow your head for a moment. Connect with that intention. And then lifting the head, you can just let your eyes open. And we're just gonna um, rest our hands on our lap. If you need grounding, you can place your hands down. If you feel like you need to receive, you can place your hands up. But we're just gonna begin with um, 10 very deep breaths because deep breathing actually really helps with the immune system. It opens our lungs, which in Chinese medicine help to create our defensive key or our immune key. So um, as we inhale, we're just gonna visualize inhaling, healing white light up through our spine as we inhale all the way up to the crown of our head, connecting with heaven. And as we exhale, we're gonna visualize that light coming down from heaven through us and back to the earth. So we'll do 10 breaths like that, um, inhaling up from the earth to heaven, and exhaling from heaven down back to the earth, seeing a healing white light, a strengthening white light coming in and out. So if you want to soften your eyes closed, um, however you want to do that, um, that will be fine. So first, let's just exhale completely through the nose, we're gonna do all of this breathing through the nose. So exhaling completely through the nose, grounding down to the earth. And when you're ready, inhaling 
from the earth up through the base of the spine, all the way up through your spine, all the way up to heaven, connecting to heaven's light. Exhaling from heaven down through the crown of your head, through the spine, down through the base of the spine into the earth. And continuing, inhale. Exhale. Big breath, belly blossoms as you inhale. Letting go of any sickness, anything holding you back as you exhale through the nose. And continuing, inhaling. Taking in what you need all the way up to heaven. Exhaling, letting go of what no longer serves you and continuing at your own pace. And at least one more very full deep breath, taking the light in and up. And grounding heaven's light down through your body to the earth. And then bringing our hands right here um, to lung one area. Let's inhale. Taking in from Mother Earth. Exhaling it into our bodies. Inhaling, taking in. Exhaling, alternate cross. Good. Inhale, taking in. Exhaling, crossing the arms and hugging yourself. And again. Alternate cross. One more each way. Good. And then just rocking here for a minute. This is the stretch position for what they call in Chinese medicine, triple heater or triple warmer or energizer. And that is um, relating also to our immune system, you know, by it's like our bodies 
um, thermostat helping us to keep a proper balance of um, heat and moisture throughout our entire system, our three burning spaces in our, our bodies. So let's just, um, let's take the arm across here again. And we're just gonna tap the triple heater meridian goes right in this position, right on the top of the exposed surface. So just tap that all the way up to the neck, right through the center of the arm, tap, tap, tap. Building the immune and let your breath continue to build here all the way over the top of the shoulder, oh, even up into the neck behind the ear, tapping. Oh, yeah. All the way to the ring finger. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. Top of the shoulders, nice. Behind the ear. Good. And releasing that arm, that might feel really stimulated. And we'll do the other side. Tap. Up into the neck. Keep that breath going in through the nose, out through the nose. Ooh, building that immunity for the sake of the whole. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We are all connected. Mm -hmm. That's so good. good. And releasing that, feeling that energy, how it's stimulated. Now we're gonna get hold of our outer corner of our eyebrows and just rub there for a minute. That's where the triple heater meridian ends, our immune system meridian ends. So just giving that some nice rub at the outer corner of your eyebrow. Good, and then dropping down in front of the ear. We're gonna just massage right around our ears, really close to the ears. Just giving yourself a nice massage right under your ears. Oh yes, good. We'll do that again from the outer corner of the eyebrows, mm -hmm, toward the ear, the front of the ear, around the ear, just giving it a nice little massage. Mm -hmm. Under the ear. Yeah, good. And one more time. Outer eyebrows. Oh, front of the ear, around the ear. Use your fingertips, twirl them under the base of the ear, rubbing there. And then back to the back of the neck and to the top of the shoulders. We're just going to sweep from the beneath the ear, behind the neck. Top of the shoulder sweep out beneath the ear, top of the neck, sweep out. Good. And then just rub, roll your shoulders out a few times with breath. Good. And then we're going to change the cross of our legs. Place your other leg in front. And we're going to just do some eagle arms. So arms out to the side. This is a similar stretch for the triple heater. We're gonna cross the left beneath the right as high as you can and see if you can wrap palm to palm. And then lift the elbows if you can, lift your spine if you can, but let the tops of your shoulders be soft. Good, take a deep breath in and lift the elbows a little more on the exhale if you can come forward with a long straight spine and just breathe. Breathe into the outer hips, gathering good energy for yourself through your breath. Our breath is a great healer. It connects us to the world around us. It helps us to take in what we need and let go of what we don't need. Good, inhale up, exhale, release the arms. Good, arms out to the side, big breath in. This time we'll take the right beneath the left, cross as high as you can, wrap eagle arms. Inhale, lift. The elbows soften the tops of the shoulders downward. Big breath in, exhale forward, long straight spine, any amount. Good, breathing into the outer hips. Keep the elbows lifted, tops of the shoulders soft, getting a nice stretch between your shoulder blades. Inhale up, exhale, release. Good, and just rolling that out one more time. Good, and then legs straight forward for um, Dandasana, sitting up nice and straight if you can. 
Let your toes float straight up to the ceiling. Try to get your spine up in a line if you can. Bring the arms out to the side. Roll your palms open. Stretch your heart open. Inhale the arms up. Big breath in. Exhale, forward fold, reaching for your toes or your ankles or your shins. Use your inhalation, stay with your breath here. Use your inhalation to grow your spine longer. Use your exhalation to surrender forward. Good, and use the breath to cycle with that. Inhale, growing longer. Exhale, surrendering forward. And then another full deep breath here. Good, and then inhale, come on up. Let's take the left foot and just tuck it under the knee and back by your hip, and then step across if you can with your right one. See if you can find both sitting bones and sit up nice and straight. Good, and then roll your belly to the right and put your right hand beneath or behind your back. Inhale your left one up, big breath in. Exhale, twist a little more and hook that arm on the outside of your knee for Ardha Matsyandrasana. As you inhale, get taller again. As you exhale, revolve yourself, staying broad in your heart if you can, staying broad in your shoulders if you can. Cycle with breath, another deepening of the twist. Big breath in and exhale slowly back to the center. Good, and then we'll straighten out the legs again. Sit up nice and straight in Dandasana. This time we're gonna take the right leg and just tuck it under. Bring the foot back by the hip if you can and step across. Good, anchor both of your sitting bones, sit up nice and straight. This in itself is a nice little stretch for your hips. Good, and then we're just gonna roll our belly this time to the left and put the left hand behind your back. Inhale, the right arm up, growing nice and tall. Exhale, hook that elbow on the outside of that knee. Inhale to grow taller again. Exhale to revolve, staying broad in your heart and chest. Inhale, getting taller. Exhale, going further around. If you can soften the front of your ribs back towards your spine and keep your chest lifted. One more breath. Good, nice breath in. Exhale slowly back to the center. And release that leg and the other leg. Let's come for a cat, cat cow for a moment. So I'll do it from the side. Palms beneath the shoulders, knees slightly behind your hips, and slightly turned out. Let's inhale and lift our chin, lift our tail, drop our belly, exhale. Curve the tail under, drop your chin and arch your back. Do a few of these with your breath, really increasing in breath, exaggerating your spine. Inhaling, exhaling, both through the nose. Squeezing out the stale air, inviting in the new air. Good. And then inhaling to a neutral tabletop position, curl your toes under, take a deep breath in, press the mat forward with your knuckles and come into downward dog. Let your head relax. Feel as if your hips are being suspended up to heaven by a little trapeze bar, lifting your hips. Feel as if the tops of your thighs are going up and back. 
and then reach your heels toward the earth if you can. Try to be more in your knuckles, pressing the mat forward, pressing your heart toward the tops of your thighs, then in your wrists. Don't, don't collapse into the wrists if you can avoid it. Take another breath or two here. Sometimes people like to walk their dog by bending one knee and then the other, pretending you're walking a doggy, but keep your hips high. Let your neck be soft. Good, and then bringing the dog to stillness, look up between your hands and slowly start to walk forward until your feet land beneath your knees and your knees land beneath your hips and just hang for a minute. Oh, it always is good to just let go. So just do that for yourself if you can. It's okay for the knees to be a little bit back here. <sighs> good, and then we're gonna think about reverse swan diving up. So as you inhale, you're gonna sweep your arms out and up and gather as much fresh air as you can. And then exhale, palms come together, hands come to the heart. And release. Good. All right, so next, um, let me fix my little camera. Sorry, I didn't realize that you couldn't see me. <laughs> so let's see, okay. So now, we're just going to do upward facing mountains. We'll start in Tadasana. So feet are together. Um, you're really lifting your toes, spreading them out, finding the four corners of your feet, your big toe mound, little toe mound, and both sides of your heels. And then you're pressing the feet down into the earth. And as you press your feet down, you're Finding a lift and an alignment in your spine all the way up through the crown of your head. Good. Make a little space in your armpit, which helps to open your heart. It's always good to keep a little space beneath your armpits to let the heart open and let the energy come through your hands. And then let's just take the arms out to the sides. Reach out through the fingertips. Roll the palms open and inhale up or the Hastasana. So your upward facing mountain. So as you press down into your feet, you're lifting up through your arms, staying broad through your shoulders and finding that breath again, where we're inhaling from the earth up through our spine, beautiful feeling light, all the way up through the crown of our head and we're exhaling, we're taking heaven's light down through our crown, down through our spine, down to the earth. Two more breaths like that. Inhale up. Exhaling it down through us. Good. And then inhaling up again. Exhaling, releasing those arms down and out to the sides. And then the lung, large intestine, makaho. So we're gonna clasp our hands behind our back. Um, you can clasp the thumbs and point your index fingers. And then widen your stance a little bit. Inhale, roll your shoulders down your back, lift your chest. On the exhale, you're gonna come forward with a long straight spine. Let your knees bend a little bit and see if you can bring those arms up to the sky. Index, thumbs are clasped, index fingers are pointing. Opening the lungs here to build your immune system. Big breaths, taking in, letting go. Opening up to inspiration, like what inspires us as human beings? What is going to help us move forward as a human race? What is going to help us heal? Open up to that inspiration. And when you're ready, press into the feet. Inhale, come up with a long, straight spine, all the way into a little back bend. And then exhale, center, release the arms. Ah. Whew, good. 
And whatever thumb was on top last time, you're gonna do the opposite thumb on top. This time, point those index fingers, ground through your feet, inhale, roll your shoulders back, Exhale one more time for a long straight spine. Bring those arms up if you can, as high as you can. You may not be able to, that's okay. Just try. Release your neck, release your shoulders, let go here. Breathe. Stay with the breath. Breathe all the way into the belly. When you're ready, press into the feet. Inhale, long straight spine again. Exhale, release the arms, good. And then if that was a hard stretch for you, an alternate stretch that you can do that will help the lungs as well is to make an L with your fingers. Bring your arms a little out to the side, elbows slightly back. Big breath in, exhale, press that L straight out to the side, slightly down and slightly back. Trying to keep the index fingers pointing upward. Good, and the palms outward. And just breathe into that. Let the tops of the shoulders soften. Breath deepen. Good, and then release that. Good. And we're gonna take that, um, we're gonna take it into eagle pose, which is gonna help with that triple heater meridian again and our balance, which helps us to connect to the earth and connect to the sense of balance that we need on this planet today. Because we, believe it or not, can do something about it. We're a part of this whole thing and cultivating balance in ourselves helps cultivate balance in the world. So connecting to the beautiful balance that the mother earth possesses despite everything she goes through, just connecting to that in her. Reaching down through your right leg, just lift your left one up and find your balance. Good. And then we're gonna take that leg and we're gonna wrap it around if you can. You might need to hold a wall or, you know, that's okay if you do. And then it's like you're going to sit down a little bit, like you're sitting into a chair slightly back, but your spine is staying long and strong. Arms out like a bird. Take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, you're going to take that left arm beneath the right, cross as high as you can, and wrap those arms into your eagle arms. Inhale, lift the elbows, soften the tops of the shoulders, and see if you can sit a little more. Good. Your belly nestles back to your spine, so you're not arching the back. Your spine is straight, and you're breathing. Good. This pose is good for our vision, so envisioning, envisioning healing of the collective immune system. Healing for the earth, healing for each other, healing for those who are sick and suffering. And then pressing into the feet, inhale, straighten the leg, unwrap, release. Yes. Good. Second side. So Tadasana, mountain pose. This time reaching down through the left and just find your balance. Again, gazing ahead at eye level at something that's not moving really helps. Lift that leg, wrap it around. Outer hips move in, arms come out. Sit back a little if you can. Deep breath in. This time the right goes beneath the left. Cross as high as you can. Wrap eagle arms. Inhale, lift elbows. Exhale, sit back. Ooh, katasana. It helps to squeeze the thighs together a little bit. Let your belly nestle back towards your spine. Lift the elbows, but soften the tops of the shoulders. And make sure you're not holding your breath. Deep breaths in and out. Good. When you're ready, inhale, press into the foot, straighten the leg, uncross the leg, exhale, release the arms. Beautiful. That was um, Garandasana Eagle Pose. So next, let's see. Let's step our feet apart and see if we can come nice and wide. This is when a brick would come in handy for your head if you like. Um, so step your feet wide. 
Let your toes turn in a little bit, your heels come out a little bit. Let's make a five pointed star to begin with. That we're just expanding ourselves, reaching out through the arms, grounding through the feet. Good. Deep breath in on the exhale, hands to the hips, come forward with the long straight spine. Maybe bring your hands to your grip first if it's hard um, to touch the ground. If it's not hard to touch the ground, we're just gonna move the brick and come to the ground with our hands. Good, and then we're gonna do a little twist. Twisting is very good for our immune system. If it's too far to the ground, you can always put your brick down here, that can help. We're gonna take a deep breath in and we're gonna roll our belly up to the left and see if we can stack our shoulders and then lift the arm up and just breathe. Nice deep breaths. Try to stay grounded through the outer edges of your feet while you do this and stay expansive through your heart center as you breathe. Deep breath in. Exhale the top arm down. Change hands. Inhale. Roll belly up to the right this time, grounding through the outer feet. Stack your shoulders and lift the hand. Keep the breath smoothly flowing in and out. Good, big breath in. Exhale that top arm down. Good, and then maybe moving the brick between your legs. Inhale a long straight spine. Exhale, start to walk your hands back a little bit, and maybe you can bring your head to rest on the brick. Maybe your brick needs to go lower. Maybe your head doesn't get to a brick. It doesn't matter, but we're going to forward fold. In this pose, our fingertips are facing forward. Our elbows would be above our wrists, and our elbows are in line with our shoulders. And we're just breathing deeply, letting go. Another couple breaths here. Cultivating energy for yourself. Cultivating energy for the world. Good, and then inhale, straighten the spine, walk the hands forward. Heel toe, heel toe in a little bit, and then bring your hands right to the tops of your thighs, come up with a long straight spine as you inhale and step your feet together. Excellent. We're gonna do warrior two next to cultivate strength. So again, we're gonna step or hop our feet quite wide apart, maybe three feet or so. We're gonna turn our right toes in and roll our left ones out all the way. Good. Rolling from the top of the thigh. Our torso is still gonna be facing forward as best we can. We're gonna take a deep breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna bend this front knee and we're gonna see that the knee goes right out between the second and third toes. Good, and we're just spreading at the hips and then charge your arms out for warrior two. So if that's you know too easy, you might wanna deepen, maybe slide the foot forward or back and just deepen the pose. Be in both feet equally. So we're grounding through the outer edge of the back foot and the big toe mat of the front foot and kind of spreading our mat with our legs as we sink our pelvis and then turn and look out over your front arm and keep bending and breathing. Good. And when you're ready, we're gonna straighten that leg. If you need to rest your arms for a minute, go right ahead, we're gonna turn these toes in, our left toes in, roll our right ones all the way out. Maybe turn our torso forward. We're rolling out from the top of the thigh, grounding through our back leg. Release to bend toward the 90 degree angle. If you wanna keep stretching a little more to find more of that 90 degree angle, go right ahead and charge your arms right out to the side. Find your strength. Ground through the outer edge of your back foot, big toe mount of the first, and turn and look out over that front arm. 
And let's take a couple of breaths here. Keep sinking into the pose, connecting to the earth, lifting the spine to heaven, lifting the heart, building your strength so that your body can meet any challenge it needs to. We are transformers in these bodies. We can heal. We can heal whatever needs to be healed. Our bodies are miraculous like that. Inhale, strengthen the front leg. Turn both feet to face forward. And step or hop your feet together. Good. Whew. And just roll that out. All right. So we're going to come down and start to really wind our practice down. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a supported bridge. So I hope you can see me here. I might have to throw this down a little bit more because it looks like it's getting mighty dark. All right, so here we are. I'm walking my feet in toward my sitting bones. I'm rolling my shoulders under and I'm going to take my brick and I'm going to lift my pelvis and I'm going to place the brick beneath my sacrum and roll my shoulders under some more. Good. And my chin is tucked right into my sternal notch. I can, um, you know, you can even put your, if you want to, you can even put your heels right on your hands um, or not. And you're just going to rest here for a minute and breathe. Now you don't want to let your legs splay out. Try to keep them straight in line with your hips. Feel your tailbone nice and long, like it's reaching between your knees. Let the energy just settle towards your lungs and towards your heart and towards your throat. And take a few big deep breaths here again. As you're inhaling, you're expanding through your rib cage. You're letting it fill out with energy, life. As you're exhaling, you're releasing any, anything that needs to go, any toxicity, any ill health or ill thoughts. Taking in and letting go. Good. And then, you know, if you're comfortable here and you feel like you can do this, you might bring your knees up towards your chest and maybe just lift the legs for a minute, like a little inversion here. And just let heaven's energy come down and really fortify your pelvis and even more fortify your heart. Always keeping your chin right to your sternal notch in this position. Couple of breaths here. In this modified Sarvangasana shoulder stand. So good, so good for you, for your immune system. It's all going right to the thyroid gland, nourishing that. Good, and then bending at the knees, landing the feet, press into the feet, lift the pelvis up, remove the brick, slowly lower your spine. Just hug the knees in for a moment. Oh yes, maybe just slowly rock from side to side, just to massage the lower spine, release your neck, let it gently turn with you. Mm -hmm. Good. And then bringing that into stillness, we're going to release the legs and find our final rest, Shavasana. So spreading out on your mat, 
feet mat with the part, arms by the side, palms open to receive um, heaven's grace. And then just as you exhale now, you're just allowing yourself to, to just melt into this very moment. As you exhale, you're just letting your thoughts just soften into stillness. You're letting your muscles release any holding or grasping. Just releasing your head, letting it be heavy. Releasing your shoulders, your arms and hands. Letting your front body just settle back onto your back body. Softening the hips, the buttocks, the legs, and the feet. Softening inward. Being very gently held by the earth beneath you. And knowing that you are truly loved. And allowing the breath to increase again. Deep breath in, belly rises. Big breath out, belly falls. And bending at your knees. Lifting up your right arm and just rolling softly to the right. Slowly pressing up to find a seat to seal our practice together. <laughs> Thank you for practicing with me. The light in me sees, honors, and salutes the light in each of you. Namaste. Until we meet again. Thank <laughs> you.